up, you guys. Tracy Snyder here, ready to rock it out for Focus Friday. It is August 4th at noon Eastern. We're about to stream into the Facebook group. So if you're catching the replay from focusfridayreplays.com, please put in the comments below replay and then be intentionally present just as always. As always, Focus Friday. All right. So four days in to the splits that we got going on. Check up from the neck up. How you doing? And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's exactly why you got to be plugged in. So great job being here. Thank you for taking the time. Let's rock and roll. All right. Just streaming in now. What's up, guys? Kirstie Snyder here, ready to rock it out for Focus Friday. It is the 4th of August. If you're catching the replay from our Facebook group and you do not see the red light button in the corner, that's great. That's awesome. Be sure to act intentionally present as if you were here when we were live on August 4th. And as I said a moment ago, for those on the YouTube playlist from FocusFridayReplays.com, be sure to put replay in the comments below that YouTube video. Lead from the front. You know what I'm saying? When you lead from the front, you attract like-minded things. That includes participating on something simple like a Focus Friday recording or if you're live with us, right? Because here's the thing. If you're setting the temperature for your team, if you're setting the momentum for your team based on your proximity, based on your specific intention, then you're going to attract other people who are going to do the same, right? If you take it willy-nilly, you treat it like a hobby, you just kind of show up a little bit here and there a little bit, then you're going to attract people who also kind of show up a little bit here and there a little bit, right? So what can you do today? What can you think through today? That's going to be specifically attracting people who you want to bring in to this business. Okay. How many sales do you want this week? Drop me a comment. Let me know this week. I'm talking it's Friday at noon. You've got half of Friday and Saturday within two days. How many sales do you want? How many do you have? How many do you want to end with? Right. If it's a zero, if it's one, if it's two and you want to end with five, what are you willing to do to get there within a day and a half? You got to think about it. You got to be intentional. Okay. What that means for you is attracting like-minded things. You've got to believe and you've got to accept the idea because it's not just an idea. You guys, this is working for you in your favor, whether you notice it or not, whether you are completely involved with this or not. It's like the law of gravity. I might drop my phone. It falls to the ground. It's working for me. The law of gravity pull everything. Okay. If I drop my phone, it goes to the ground. It doesn't just float. Right. If I walk out my door, I don't just float to the sky. I'm grounded. I stay on the sidewalk. Right. The law of gravity, just like the law of vibration, the law of attraction is working in your favor, whether you realize it or not. Okay. What that means for you guys is when you are intentional, when you're intentional about what you want. When you're actually intentional about what you want, you're going to attract those like-minded things. So for those of you saying, okay, I want five cells. I want four cells. I want eight cells, et cetera. What are you willing to do to get there? I say it all the time. Do you want to talk about the things that you want? You want to affirm? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love eight cells. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'd, I'd love to make $300 by tonight or whatever. I agree with you. I want that for you too. Uh-huh. 110%. And it's also so, so important and so relevant to understand, is your belief strong enough that your body moves towards that goal into action towards what you're saying? Does that make sense? Drop a make sense if you feel me. There's like 40 of you guys on, even those on the replay. If that makes sense, drop a make sense for me. Now, listen, if you are truly in the momentum for the August splits, if you are truly in the momentum for, I'm going to go faster, stronger, harder than I've ever done before. I'm going to intentionally get uncomfortable. I'm going to intentionally be here on purpose, right? If you're so incredibly intentional, don't you think that you're going to attract those same things? Law of vibration. What you are in this moment, like a magnet is what you draw to you. It's what you attract. So if you're thinking things like, I don't have what it takes. This is too hard. This is taking too much time. I don't understand. I can't figure this out. 
this is difficult. This is that, if you're thinking anything, that's anything less than you with eight cells by tomorrow. Some of you guys commented that eight cells, four cells, five cells. Okay. Do you think a person with eight cells by tomorrow, let's say they are all titanium. Do you think a person who's going to make $800 right from their cell phone by tomorrow would ever be saying things like, I don't have what it takes. This is too hard. I don't understand it. No one's helping me. Wah, 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 wah. Will they ever be saying that? No, that person who's attracting eight cells, that person who's getting $800, that person who then is creating a real passive way of income is saying things of abundance. They aren't saying things of how it isn't working, how it's not doing it, how they're doing something wrong, how no one's helping them and, and then wah, wah, wah. They're not saying those things. If you're saying in the moment, I don't understand, I don't have what it takes, this is too hard, this is too stressful, this is too whatever, I'm not smart enough, I'm not tech savvy, I can't figure it out, yada, yada. If you're saying those things and the reality is all you have is this moment, as cheesy as that sounds, you literally have this moment, that's it, that's it. If that is the truth, what are you attracting in that moment when you're like, I don't have what it takes. This is too hard. I don't get it. No one's helping me. Wah, wah, poo-poo head. You know what I'm saying? My four-year-old, he's like the epitome of a Sour Patch Kid. He's like Eeyore. You guys know Eeyore, right? Oh, blah, blah. Just like negative. And he's not negative. My four-year-old is very, he just gets down on himself pretty easy. He's like the life of the party. He's the cutest thing ever. See what I mean by Sour Patch Kid? And then in one moment, the next moment, he's like, this isn't working. Like all is lost. All is just gone to crap and things are just so difficult. It's just very dramatic, right? Maybe that's a four-year-old thing. <laughs> and I call him a poo-poo head. <laughs> yes, I do call him a poo-poo head sometimes. When I look at him and I say, Colton, you don't say that. Instead, we say things like, I can, I will, I must. So now almost every single time, you guys, this cute little four-year-old says something like, I can't do that. Even if it's something like, I can't put on my shoe. Oh man, it's not working. Wah, wah, wah. And then he gets all down. I look at him like, do we say that? He goes, oh, I can, I will, I must. Now listen, one day he's going to thank me for drilling that into his head. I know it which is why I do it. But it's the same thing to you, miss and Mr. Adults out there. Don't freaking say things like, this isn't working. I can't figure it out. I don't understand. Wah, no one's helping me. Uh, I don't know how to, I get it. That was me too. I used to stress like crazy about doing something as simple as putting a forwarding domain together. I didn't even know what GoDaddy was. I'm like, what the freak is that site? I didn't even know what it was, you guys. And that was only like two years ago that I didn't know what that was. Now I can hook a forwarding domain wherever the heck I want it to go with my eyeballs closed because I've done it so much. I've developed the skill set. I've developed the habit. I've understood what I'm worth. So I understand when I go to do something, I know I'm going to figure it out. Even if it takes me two hours to figure it out compared to the other guy who takes two minutes, that doesn't matter. The guy who's taken two minutes is on chapter 107 where you're on chapter five. Why are you comparing? Why are you allowing yourself to even for a second go to something less than what you're worth? Because if the truth is, just like the law of gravity, it's working for you or against you in your favor all the time, whether you notice it or not, just like the law of gravity, the law of vibration is a real thing. The law of attraction is a real thing. What you attract like a magnet depends on your vibration. It depends on your vibration. So do you think you saying and affirming things like, I can't figure it out. This is too hard. No one's helping me. Wah, wah, wah. Is that attracting like-minded things or is that attracting more blah? Is that attracting more negativity? Is that attracting more reason for you to be like, oh my gosh, this isn't working. You're right. And the more you say that, the more you're going to experience it on the physical plane. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Listen, you get what you are, not what you want. You get what you are, not what you want. So if you want to succeed, if you desire to understand, if you in the past have felt, I'm just not tech savvy. Me either. I freaking hate tech stuff. 
Daniel does literally all the tech work in this business because that is not my jam. But what I've realized is I'm able to do it. I'm able to do it. My capability, my confidence surpasses. And so now I hire it out instead of stressing myself out. But can I hire it out without funds? Can I hire something out without the will and the discipline to figure out a way, the resourcefulness, okay? There's a difference between you being empowered and you being enabled. If I enable you to just copy everything I do and you never go stretch out of your comfort zone and you never do something beyond what you're learning, that's insanity doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And it's the same thing with what we're doing here in the August Blitz. The same thing, we're what we're doing here in the August Blitz. Wednesday, you guys, I had 16 sales. 14 of them were titanium. And these were people signing up based on my effective marketing. This wasn't me like going back and forth and convincing them and all that, no. This was effective marketing. You guys have the effective marketing right at your fingertips. It's on the app. It's on the desktop. It's literally right there. And some of you are still saying, I just don't know how. I just don't know what to post. I just don't know that, that, that. You're right. You're right. You don't know how. Stay where you are. How does that feel? Stop. You're here in this business because you're capable. You took a bet on you because you know you can. Even though it's uncomfortable, even though at the beginning you're like, wow, what am I doing? And you just want to barf, right? Turn that frustration into ambition. Comment that right now, all hundred and something of you, even those on the reply, I dare you. I will turn my frustration into ambition. Just the same as I couldn't describe what down means if you didn't know what up means. You wouldn't understand the concept of that's inside compared to that's outside. There's an equal opposite to everything. There's an equal opposite to everything, right? And what that means for you is if the frustration is there, what is the equal opposite to frustration? For me, it's ambition. If I'm frustrated about something, I can either sit and fester and paralyze or I can push through it with my ambition, with my fire, with my tenacity, with my, I will think bigger than myself. I will understand that everyone who's ever done something I want to do, I will get there and I might be newer than them, but so is life. So is life. Did you know how to be a parent or a spouse or accept a job or get fired from a job or attend college or ride a bike or drive a car before you did it? You could research all day long how to ride that bike. You could research all day long how to get married. Or you could date the person and figure out if you want to get married. Even on your wedding day, you still didn't know what you were doing, yet you pulled through it, right? I've been let go of jobs. I've been fired from jobs. I have accepted jobs. I have walked away from jobs, whatever. And it's the same thing with your side hustle here. It is a new skill set. It is a new skill set that you are stepping into. Why are you looking for perfection? You didn't look for perfection at a no normal job. You got hired and then you got used to driving to and from work. You now have the habit of driving to that job. You know exactly where to turn. You know exactly how much time it will take because you've done it so often. It's the same thing with this business, you guys. You do it so often. You put out the right content. You follow the four-point formula. You plug into the DM formula. You don't know what I'm talking about. That's exactly the problem. Those two concepts, short form video formula and the DM formula, those are the two things, 110% that you can master that your focus gets to be. Gets to be, not has to be, it gets to be that. Because when you master short form videos, your DMs, your comments, your engagement are gonna be crazy. You need both. And we have so much training for both of those, probably 20 or something videos. What if over the next three weeks, you spent one hour a day understanding those two concepts. My gosh, one month from now, you would be so unrecognizable. You'd be so much more confident, but instead you'd rather sit there and be like, I can't do it. I don't know how. You're right. Now I get funny when I say that 
Okay. I'm making light of the situation so that you can understand that where you are doesn't have to be where you are. Make sense? Where you are right now is not your final destination. If it was, you would not be here. You'd literally be going backward, right? You'd be disintegrating, however you want to describe it. And what we're doing all of August is creating. Disintegrate, you're going backwards, you're dying, right? Not physically, okay, roll with the analogy. You're going backward if you're not doing something higher, if you're not pushing out of comfort, right? What's the opposite of that? Creation. Creation, create means to bring into existence. So for those of you who commented earlier and said, I want eight sales by tomorrow. I want four sales by tomorrow. I want five sales by tomorrow. What do the rest of you guys want? 110 of you guys on 110 comments come through. How many sales do you want this week? Meaning you have half a day today and Saturday to get to whatever goal. How many sales do you want? Drop me a comment, put a number. And are you willing to do what it takes to actually get there? Or would you rather just comment and be like, I want 10 sales. Yeah, you and everyone else. Are you willing to do what it takes to get there? Are you willing to do what it takes to get there? So if you want 10 sales and you have one, who, who has to show up to get another nine sales by tomorrow? Who has to show up to get six sales by tomorrow? Who do you have to be? What do you have to do? What steps, what action, how many videos? How many direct messages, how many follow-ups, how many comments do you respond back to, et cetera, do you have to do to get to 10 sales by tomorrow? If you're at one, if you're at two, if you're at zero, if you're at five, to double that, who do you have to be? You ever going to ever think to yourself, if you knew, okay, and we'll end with this. If you knew by midnight tomorrow, the fifth, you had 10 sales. Would you show up differently right now? Yes or no? Drop me a yes, drop me a no. If you knew, guaranteed, in this moment, here at 1220 Eastern on the 4th, and yet by tomorrow at midnight on the 5th of August, you saw you had 10 sales for the week. Let's say they were all titanium. Let's just like be super excited about it. $1,000, 10 times $100. You made 10 sales. Would you at all be thinking today, I can't figure this out. No one's helping me. I don't have the time. How do I post a video? Oh my gosh, what hashtags? Eh, I'm just so new and there's no one helping me. Wah, wah, wah. Would you ever be thinking that? No, you would not be thinking that. And just as I said, the law of attraction, the law of vibration is working in your favor, whether against you or for you in the moment, you know it, or you don't know it. You're not aware of it at all. It's working for you. It's either producing positive or negative results. And those negative or positive results depends on maha, you. You're the common denominator. You're the problem. You're the solution. You are not your sponsor, not the funnel, not if you can figure out the app, not if this is hard, not if this will take time. Time's going to pass anyway. You might as well develop a skill set that's going to pay you bigger and bigger and bigger. Just saying. Last but not least, are you registered for Teachable Tuesday? If you're not yet registered for Teachable Tuesday, please do so right now. If you have not caught Teachable Tuesday from a couple of days ago, the 1st of August, go watch that replay today. We have a new funnel. We have new emails, capture pages, everything going out for you that has produced multiple people, five to six cells a night. Like they wake up to five and six cells. Yes, I know that because these people are messaging me saying, holy freak, the funnel is working. The funnel only works when you work it. How do you work it? By effective marketing. You cannot just be like, oh, here's my funnel. Here's spammy Kathy post it on my wall. No sales. No, duh. <laughs> you have to actually do effective marketing. Go hone in your strategy from the short form video playlist and the DM formula playlist. Search the word playlist inside this group. I have a post about those two playlist uh, links and you're going to want to be a part of them. They're also inside of your TFT training, Fast Start Guide Part 2. Wake up. It's in your hands. It's right there on your fingertips. It's right there, literally in your vision. But you've got to actually do something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm excited for you guys. Go get registered for Teachable Tuesday. If you haven't already, I'd love to see you there. Hope this Focus Friday brought value to you. Go rock it out. Go act like you deserve 10 sales by tomorrow. Go do the things 
that the person would be doing if they knew they were going to get 10 sales by tomorrow. Okay. And we'll see you on the inside again. Bye guys.